Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode. Today, what are we going to talk about? One of my favorite things, Perk Coffee. Coffee in general is one of my favorite things. I couldn't start my day without a cup of coffee. Or Joe, cup of Joe. Um, so, we're going to try out this little thing here. It's a coffee percolator. Percolator. And it has a little basket inside that you put the coffee in. Oh, let's go get the paper on there. The instructions. We might need those. So what we got here is this uh, little basket. This holds the holds the coffee. And the little holes in the bottom. You see all those little holes? What happens is when the water gets heated up down here, it goes up through that tube. Up out the top and down onto this little drip pan here. It drips through the coffee. We put the coffee grinds in here. It drips down through, out the bottom, and back into the water. And it recycles up and down and through. And it keeps going and going. And it's a, uh, I don't know, process that was invented like in the 1800s, like 1850s or something. So it's been around for quite a while. Um, I'm going to say that they looked like this back in the 1800s, but it's evolved quite a bit. But the process is pretty much the same, just forcing hot water up through the bottom, up and down onto the basket and through the coffee grounds back into the water. So we put that in there like that. And we're going we're gonna to act like we're without power today. We're just going to go with this. I have this little burner set up down here. It's a little camp stove. So we're just gonna like see how this works in a straight up camp environment, I guess. So we're gonna put, we're gonna take some of our coffee grinds here. Have some coffee. And just gonna put a scoop in there. I haven't Figured this process out on how much per cup. We're just gonna wing it today. So I just got that. See that? Just get that in there. The grounds and a level amount. Level amount. Noticing doing so. Stuff's falling out of that little basket. The holes are a little too big for my kind of coffee, I think. Yeah, we might have some grinds in our coffee, but that'll be all right. You see when I shake it, look at the grinds that could fall on the bottom. Huh. Maybe you go with a coarse ground. Go with a coarse ground. That might not happen. I don't mind a little coffee grind, if I know they're in there. So, oh, I guess I should read the instructions. Fill percolator with di desired amount of water. Do not overfill pot. Water level must be a little below the basket. So we're going to fill this. Just going to put a little in the, enough for a couple cups of coffee. The way it'll heat up relatively easy. So we put the water in. We put the percolator in. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. You don't need to see me. Zoom in on here. And I'm going to put the cover on the basket. The water level's way down here below the below the basket line, so get that on there. Let's start up this little stove. So, put the window open so it's 
ventilated in here. I know propane's hazardous gas. So we're heating up the water. Isn't this exciting? I'm like washing paint dry. I don't think it's gonna take long. Should see something start bubbling out of there. But let's see. Let's come up with some interesting facts about coffee. So the coffee percolator was actually per or patented, <laughs> pertinent by somebody named Goodrich. Hanson Goodrich. He patented it back in 1889. So there's a little info. Invented by Goodrich in 1889. Uh, There's a bunch more information. I just know that it's good. It wakes me up in the morning. I like it. I enjoy myself a cup of coffee in the morning. Turn this up a little bit. Just perkin. <clears throat> With the miracles of editing, I can speed this up. Smell the coffee grinds that fell in the bottom. Oh yeah, I can see steam coming up now. The little globe is turning milky. It's definitely warm in there. Any minute now. ready for a cup of coffee. So if we were sitting beside a campfire, you could sing like campfire songs and stuff, but I don't know any. Oh my darling, oh my darling. Is, is that a campfire song? Oh my darling, I'm fine. I've been wanting coffee forever. And it's taking a long time. Come on, coffee. Burk, burk. No burks. We'll just wait. Waiting. Yep, I see something happening up here. Any minute now. I can feel it. I can smell it. It does smell like it's coffee percolating here. The best air freshener in the world. Coffee bean. Anything? I don't see nothing. This is a long process, but Maybe it's just because I'm anxious about getting coffee. I've already had one cup, as you can tell. I did that on the electric coffee pot, the new modern day one, which essentially takes the same process and utilizes the heat. All it does is actually heat a coil at the bottom and then that in turn pushes the water up through and down into the filter. Now we use paper filters instead of these metal baskets. And there's a bunch more ways of perking coffee as well. Or brewing coffee, or there's like presses, there's fancy little glass bottles that spin around and I've looked into it. There's a many different ways of making coffee. When the power was out one time, I just took a um, coffee filter, put a little bit of coffee in the filter, put elastic around it, and dipped it in my coffee cup, like a tea bag, 
and let it brew that way with some hot water in the coffee cup. And, oh, did you see that? We have something happening. There it is. So now it's perking. You see that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. And it's going right down on top. Right down on top of that. See how it's dripping down through? And if I put this and I close it, you can see it on the lid now. See that? Okay, I can turn it down a little, I think. That's going pretty good. Turn that down. I don't know if that's what it says on the instructions, but that's what I'm doing. I don't want to perk it too fast. When coffee is seen perking in the clear knob, watch carefully. Okay, we have been, haven't we? We've been watching this thing like a hawk. Um, remove from heat as soon as perking stops. Do not allow coffee to perk more than three minutes. Anybody got the timer? Okay, we're going for it. Uh, yeah, we'll start now. We'll just shoot for two and a half minutes. I can see the coffee is changing color. Uh, the perk is actually changing. Oh. Come on, camera. I think it's trying to pick up all this steam coming out. There we go. We got a good picture there. And it is changing. It is changing color. Look at that. Isn't that fun? It's kind of a fun way to make coffee, I guess. And the smell. Oh my god, if you smell it right now, it smells so good in here. It is like, it's like morning. It's like morning on the range. All I need is one of the little triangles and ding, 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 ding. You know? Let all the cowboys know that and the sheep herders to come in. I got fresh coffee over here. I don't know why I think of those times when I guess it's the 1800s sort of thing. I don't know what they did back then, really. I do know that there was one guy patenting this. <laughs> and for good reason. I like how it shoots right up out of there like that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's cool. That's a fun way to perk some coffee or make coffee. Brew coffee. I don't know the proper terminology. Today we're perking coffee. I'm sure the coffee is brewing in the perking process. So, either way, we're making some coffee. I think we're uh, we're good to go. It says three minutes is up here, so shutting that down. Backing around here. Okay. Whew. Hot. Handle is hot. Careful. So now I'd assume the best thing to do would be remove this and not just pour because the the lid would come right off. That is not what it says though. It just says pour, serve, and enjoy. It doesn't say take the basket out or remove basket. It does not say that in the instructions in either of the seven languages that it's printed in. Oh, there goes two of the languages. So anyway, so that's <laughs> You knew that was coming. Anytime I see something that looks like eyeballs, and these ones, they actually look, you can change them so you like, I got this kind of eyeballs, or like these ones. Anyways, instructions can be fun. So we're gonna remove this. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I got a silicone little thing here. So gonna remove the basket. There, let that cool down a bit, and I got my create coffee. 
mug. All right. Let's pour and enjoy. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it looks like coffee. Looks good. Looks good, but does it taste good? Ooh. Oh, look at the steam coming off that. It smells delicious. It didn't take long. I've only been recording for 10 minutes. No, 18. Whoops, I sight must be going. Um, after this cup of coffee, I'll be better. Uh, so. I mean, it only perked for three minutes, but it took 15 minutes to get there, so. But, I mean, that's 15 minutes in your, in your perking coffee. If I had a bigger heat source and turn the heat rate up on this, I imagine you could get a little faster, but fine wine takes time, as does a good cup of coffee, so. That's really good. I think I could have added like another scoop because it's a little bit light. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than I usually drink coffee. I can't see the bottom of my white cup, which means it's not completely horrible. I've had worse, but this is really good. That's a really good way to make some coffee. And well, let's see what looks, let's see what those grinds look like. And I think if you get some coarse ground, let's see. Should I shine the light in there? I think if you get some coarse ground in there, they wouldn't fall out the bottom because look, even you can see it's all stuck to the bottom. And there's even some grinds underneath. Grounds, grounds, grinds, coffee grinds, coffee grounds. Now it's supposed to damage in the bottom of the pan here. Yeah, there's some down there. There's a lot of them. Sift it through your teeth. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy this cup of coffee. It was fun. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed making the video. I enjoyed the taste test that followed. Very good, very good. And I enjoy my coffee black. So it has to be a good cup of coffee for me to like it. I can't go adding all that frilly stuff and dressing it up or trying to cover a taste of it. So it is actually a really good cup of coffee. And I'm gonna enjoy it, even though it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I I need another pick me up for the rest of the day anyhow. So I figured I'd make this video and share it with you. And I hope you share it with your friends. If you uh, have anything you wanna throw in or you want me to do it a different way next time, or if I didn't do it quite right this time, let me know. Drop a comment. Either way, good, bad, just let me know. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know them too. What you'd like to see, what you'd like me to do. And I'll take note of it and make a video in the future. So, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.